Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to give you the demo of latest developments in Trust Component. We have made a few changes with direct modification tool added to this component so that you can move any vertical or diagonal web just by typing the distance. You can see the different type of trusses in the model. All these trusses are created using this IBM Trust component. Now you can see there is an option for you to create trust with opposite diagonal members. If I just double click and open the properties, let me change this option back to the normal and click modify. If you want all the diagonal web facing in one direction, then I can change this option here. And if you need with the connection, for example, let me just double click and open the connection property of this. So you just have to select the connection from the dialog box and then click load so that it will load all the settings stored in this connection so that you can select from here. If you take a look at this truss, the first three members are twin profiles and rest all the members are single profile. Let me open the connection properties. If I go to the trust nodes, I have changed this option profile type twin for both the trust nodes zero and two. So you can see the nodes here for zero. This is right for one. This is left and right for two. This is left and right. So now you can see the node number is zero. And I set the option twin for the right and for number two, these two profiles are twin profiles and you can also change the profile for any particular node and you can add the galvanization hole so you can see the galvanization holes here and if you want to create in plan view it is just a matter of changing this option to top there you can see and if you want to create in vertical direction, you just have to pick two points in vertical direction. Just pick the first point and second point and then double click and open the properties and then change this option to default and modify. If you want to remove the diagonal web, select the blank options and modify. Let's see how we can create a tapet section. I pick the two points in an angle, but if you want to make the bottom chord in a straight line, change this distance. And now you can see the first and last member in this truss, both are vertical. It is because of this option. If I make it default, so it follows the angle but let me change this one to start and end so that the first and second member will be vertical. Let's see how we can use the direct modification to adjust uh, the distance between the members. For example, I'm selecting this. Let me click modify so that it shows the offset distance. I can select the direct modification and then type the offset distance. So I can also click on this direct modification line and drag and change the position. Now, let me just show you how this offset distance will be quite helpful to you. For example, let me just take this truss and purlin. Now I'm going to create the connection between bottom cord and uh, the purlin. Now the plate is clashing here. So I'm going to move this web. Let me just create a four different view of this. Let me just double click and modify this so that it will display the direct modification tool. And then I'm selecting this offset distance. Let me type 70.
this is how you can offset by typing the distance using this direct modification tool. The reason for adding all these options into this truss component, most of the projects have trusses, especially when you work on warehouse or sheds, out of 10, nearly seven projects, we have to create trust. So when you start using this component, it will be very easy for you to create and also make changes without exploding the component. If you have any specific question about this application, feel free to get in touch with me and thank you for watching this video.